All right, today's fun project, 1959 Cadillac 390 cubic inch V8. And what I plan on doing with this engine block is making a glass top coffee table with it. So that should be pretty cool in the man cave. I'm going to use the rods and the piston heads as a bracket to hold the glass top. And my plan is to mount these onto the block deck here and then the glass will sit on top of the piston head. There'll be one in each corner. So that's that's how that setup will, will go. And then I'm gonna have to do modifications to mount it, of course. I wanna maintain the block. I don't wanna drill into it or, or do any type of welding, especially this cast iron stuff. So I don't wanna damage the block, so it could always be reused. But down here, I need to make up some type of leg setup I want to raise it off the floor a little bit and I don't know if I'm going to use these bearing caps for the crankshaft over here or make something out of wood or just an entirely different type of bracket. So I'm going to take it step by step and we'll see how that comes out. But first I want to work at the top. I'm going to get this taken in the machine shop, get everything washed clean and, and uh, bead blasted. I think they're going to bead blast the block. and wash the pistons with some high temperature stuff and get this cleaned up. These are kind of neat, these pistons. The piston heads itself are made of aluminum. The rod is steel. And let's see what we can see. What I noticed in there is kind of cool. Inside the, the uh, piston skirt, it actually says Cadillac. You can see that down in there? The sun's just catching it. So that's kind of neat. And on the other side it says Alcoa in that corner but uh, they're pretty pistons when they're cleaned up they'll look even neater they've got like these slots here and they're drilled right in there on the sides it's all open in there so that that should look pretty cool mounted up here I think so anyhow we'll get that stuff cleaned up and then I'll start fabricating and we'll get to the next step Back from the machine shop, nice and clean. They did a great job. Block looks real good. What I'm going to do is get a couple cans of clear and I'm just going to clear the block so that the metal won't rust. So I think it's looking pretty neat. Let me see if I can spin it over with one hand. It's not that easy. Let's see. and steady right there's the top there we go take a look at that all right here's a look at the pistons this was actually cleaned and then this one was shot blasted nice big difference so this is what I intend to use right here so I got some modifications to do now we're in the paint prep step started masking up the decking here and I've got some of that cast iron engine paint that's the color I'm gonna go with it's a natural look some of this stuff I got these all prepped the pistons got the first coat on that let me get some light on there those are looking nice there's the color Got the feet mounted. I decided to use the main bearing caps. These will be the feet. And then I've got some small adapters that will go in here. The uh, self levelers. So that will fit right in here. Alright, I got this bad boy wired up. Let me, uh, I got a remote control here. 
and what we'll do is we'll fire it up and then I'll flip it over and we can take a look at what I did. So I'm going to hit the power button. Right now I have it plugged in to a 12 volt transformer. So I hit power and this thing's pretty neat. I can control the, the flash, the colors, all kinds of stuff, fades, all kinds of neat stuff. So I think it looks really cool. It's going to look nice inside. Got a buddy of mine coming over, so today we're going to bring it inside. The glass is here. Finally came in. And then I'll mount the mount the rods and pistons once the um, once we get it in through the door. I'm mounting the garage now. And here's that notch. I notched all of these right here. I wanted to show that. Let me see if I can do this with one hand. So that notch, this fits right in here. This is what it did look like. This is what we got now. So when this is here, that's going to sit level. So next scene, we'll take it inside and uh, every fun project comes to an end, but this one I'll be able to enjoy for years. Let's take a look at it in all its beauty here. What I want to show are the feet that I attached here to the legs, which are the main bearing caps. I did put feet on these. These are adjustable. They go up or down and they have small slides on them. So While we're down here, let's hit the main power switch. It's uh, battery operated right now. I don't have it plugged into a wall. So we'll turn this on and we can talk about the table. It's a three by three foot glass top. It's one half inch thick with the one inch bevel with rounded corners. It's real solid, heavy and nice and it's supported by these uh, small rubber bumpers that are one on each piston head. Take a walk around. There's some sun glare there so I apologize about that. This is the back of the engine. This is where the bell housing would attach for the automatic transmission. When it gets darker out, it looks really neat. The lights really fire through the cylinders. Right now I have it on auto, so it's flashing and blinking and doing its thing. Its own thing. If you have any questions or you want one built about the engine block coffee table, just uh, contact me through my YouTube channel here, OzStar. Or if you don't have a subscription to YouTube, you can email me at enginefurniture at gmail.com. It's enginefurniture, one word, at gmail.com. And I'd be glad to help you out or answer your questions best I can. As always, I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks a lot. I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I had enjoyed making this table. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, like. Stay tuned for future videos, of course. And take it easy.